And welcome back to Final Fantasy XIII, part number 10. We just ended off with uh, Zaz and Vanille's part, partially. Now cinematic, featuring your hosts, Snow and Fang. Mm -hmm. And that's a... That, that's really big. <laughs> uh, that, yeah. I... <laughs> I always kind of wonder how big the places are in this game. Like, I wonder what's under the hood of that thing. Keep your pants on. Like, do the people live? Because I always got confused on how big the world actually was. It's like Pulse is down below. Cocoon is where they all live. Yeah, technically. So, like, when they're on Pulse and they can see Cocoon up in the sky, like, I was like, oh, so everything is... Well, like, is in a way... Well, I, I mean, like, in a way, Cocoon is, like, a giant hemisphere in the air. Yeah. In a way. Like, I, I guess, relatively, I guess it's not really, a, like, a star, but, like, it's, like, Like the moon, there. maybe? I, I, yeah, I guess you could say it's kind of like a moon, but not exactly. Mm-hmm. It just kind of makes me go, wow. I guess this world is really big then. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, it might be a moon, honestly. Oh, that's true. Because like it, it, cause it, it, cause it is like, uh, is it, it is man-made, I guess, or something. Yeah, or, or uh, Falci-made or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to the Guardian Corps, like, folks. Sanctum Guardian Corps. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, yes, and uh, honestly... I didn't realize this, but uh, this is this game's version of Zid. Said mm -hmm. Sid yeah. Reigns. Yeah. And um, I'm gonna be honest. Sid Rains, Brigadier General of the not really impressed. I was. Yeah, it's a little I, sad. I was, I, was, I, I was familiar with Kingdom Hearts Sid, which was mm -hmm. basically FF7 Sid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm gonna be honest. This is this is gotta be. I I guess I I guess I could get away with saying like this is one of the worst sets out there. He's a little disappointing, yeah. If if not the worst sit out there. Yeah, he's disappointing. Cause he's the leader of the of this the of the Sanctum's um, Guardian Corps, I believe. No, no, he's the leader of the Guardian Corps. I think I believe mm. it was. Mm -hmm. you know, like every other sit is like a mechanic. I uh, like. I was the eight. He's like a scholar, I think. Yeah, fourteen. He's. Uh, I think he's the. Uh, he comes from the same place as the bad guys, I think. For Final Fantasy fourteen. Right. Mm -hmm. Fifteen. There's technically two. Well, there's a Sid, and then there's a Sid Knee. Knee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 Like it's cool they I mean like it's cool that they, there's a female Sid. Well Sydney. But like that designs like no one in their right goddamn mind would be doing engineering and be in that dress wear. Like what the yeah, fuck? Seriously. <laughs> like that was literally just fan service. Or you know yep. it's was there yeah. just for service. Mm-hmm. And to be honest, I I, I liked Sid then Sydney. To mm -hmm. be to be honest. Anyways, flashback. Day 7. The seaside city of Bodom. You're kidding, right? Oh, Sarah's breaking up with Snow. Hmm. You can't drop the breakup bomb like that. Being alone's all You know, I'm gonna be honest. I was never okay with Sarah's body proportions in this game and in 13 too. Yeah. Like, her... I don't know, her body proportions were always weird to me. She's very tiny. <laughs> With a big head. Yeah. It's not your choice. You really want to leave me? I don't want to. You have to. Like sometimes they make the characters too lanky. Like yeah. we already we, I mean we already discussed <laughs> Vanille's oh, yeah. lanky. Yeah, arms. she she Yeah, she throws me off. At least tell me that. <laughs> Besides the moaning, of course. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, the battle moaning. Uh. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. That is still... <laughs> They kind of have big hands for how lanky they are, too. <laughs> Looks at Sora like, and Fra and Sora and Ah, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm over sea. Enemy in a cocoon. Danger to us all. All right, I already explained this earlier, but Sarah just stumbled upon the Grand Falci like ruins and whatnot. She. She got, was it, came weak, knocked out, woke up, and she had a brand. Mm hmm That's, she, she got branded because, was it, she got, was it. She was exploring, of right? Because, yeah, expo exploration, because we're, um, I think it was, like, what, history or something like that, archaeology oh. or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Because she was going to go to college for that stuff, whatnot. Because I think the game tells you the dialogues. Maybe, maybe I'm not sure. No, but that's that was off the novel, actually. So yeah. I, I doubt they might have put that in the actual game. Mm -hmm. They, I mean, they put enough info to. Oh, not not all the info. They, I mean, they put a good amount to explain some things. Yeah. Sarah, where are you? Oh, this area. We get to revisit this area in thirteen two. Ooh. Yep. They do, they do reuse some of the areas in 13, mm -hmm. in, in 13 too. Well, I mean, it's a Well, no, no, sequel, I mean, so. I, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Yeah. It's probably easier on them to, uh... <laughs> well, man, when you have time for time travel, it's kind of like... Rah, rah. Not, not, <laughs> not too, I suppose. <laughs> a little brew. Oh no, we're already like, getting an ending in 13 too. Oh no. Mm-hmm. Oh no. How did Snow not notice Sarah on the docks beforehand? Gonna have to just I'm just gonna have to make you stop talking now. Oh, cause she didn't load in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we had, we had to go talk with LaBrua then. What is your focus? See, have a focus, right? I'll go with you, help you do it. Just let me. No, if you're with me, the sanctum will be with you. No matter what, we've come too far to quit now. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you can say that's still dedicated, know. that's for sure. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. It's like, well, it's <laughs> pretty loyal. Well, I mean, a gift can be a curse. Mm hmm. I mean, it's the same thing with immortality, yeah. actually. Like, is it really that good? Because mm. uh, I'm pretty sure you've seen plenty of uh, <laughs> stories about that. Yep. Thank you, Vanille. <laughs> All right, onwards to chapter five. Back to these two. Also, I know the blaze fire is also a gun and whatnot, but it's very it fucking thin. Mm-hmm. Like when it's before a gun, it's always bothered me. Yeah. 
it'll slow down pursuit. But aren't there troops on this side? We can't relax just yet. Right. We press on. I'll take point. All right, well, after Hope taking a nap, uh, they're <laughs> now here. Actually, why don't you let me with digitized leaves and branches? Because mm -hmm. now <laughs> we're in the area where they uh, was it mechanized uh, yep. the feral creatures, actually. It's yep. not a question of can or can't. Now you're learning. Oh, look, there she smiled. <laughs> I yeah, mean, she technically yeah, smiled in the last area, too, but... I'll watch the rear. She mm -hmm. does get some smiles here and there. Yeah. Welcome to the Grappa Whitewood. Except there's no wood. Proto-ecology. <laughs> Belt. It's just technology. My god. And onward. Cool design, though, for everything in here. Whee. Um, I always think these are slugs, but these are leeches. They do look like slugs, though. So, I mean, to be fair, um, well, actually, leeches are just black, and then slugs are slimy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, but like in, in this design, it. Just looks like, uh, was it slugs? Mm -hmm. But no, they're, they're leeches. Big leeches, jeez. God. Yeah, have you ever lost? Just look for the big light in the distance. <laughs> I'll guide you. That's that's helpful. Yeah. Pram just strike. Boomerang. Boomerang. Time. boomerang. <laughs> he just waves his can and commands the boomerang. He's like, ha. Huh. Yeah, he's using the, the magic. force. Yeah. <laughs> nope. They just got shot off into the uh, ether. That's fine. <laughs> The gods needed more sacrifice anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah we already seen that fight before, so mm -hmm. <laughs> moving on. Have you ever been so before? for the... Was it? On duty, I mean. no, I Especially from this point onwards with Lightning and Hope, battalion. it's really a development towards Hope. Mm -hmm. And more an open mindedness uh, realization for lightning. I mean, more into that later on, but. To keep you safe. This is. What was it? Hope's just fueling the fire for the revenge. Mm hmm. Lightning. Because lightning's actually getting the wrong message from Hope at this point. By myself, I would have had no chance. Lightning's yeah. thinking she's helping to approve help. Mm -hmm. But what Hope has, isn't telling her is that, you know, he, he he wants to fucking kill Snow. Yeah. <laughs> and then she's like, uh, whoops. It's like, not quite what I meant, but, uh... <laughs> How much can you tolerate a character wanting revenge? Ah... Uh... I mean, I mean, like in, in this sense, Hope just wants to, uh, what was it? Wants to just, just wants to fucking kill Snow. Yeah. And he's just fueled to get stronger for that. Yeah. Like, I mean. I mean, like, uh, I mean, I don't know, I don't know how many revenge characters you've seen or yeah you know, or whatever in gaming or movies or whatever, but. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, it's... what is your tolerance? I mean... Like... I will say he's just like... Let's keep this up. Just like a kid, so it's not really like... 
It's not the smartest. So I don't really hold it against him too much, but it is kind of like... Well, I'm not... I'm not Alright, buddy. I'm not, I'm, I mean, I'm not pertaining towards a whole... I'm just saying mm -hmm. just like in general. Like, what is the yeah. tolerance when a character is just like... I'm mean, like ready to when when it when a character's character is just that, it's just like okay, well that's your one note. But yeah, when a character goes into this whole revenge, yeah, I portion mean... of it, like because there's some that just goes like I don't give a shit about anything. I just want to kill, <laughs> kill yeah. that person or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hard. Uh, kind of hard to say because like. I mean, it depends on their motive for revenge. If they're just doing it because they just want to. Well, I mean, that wouldn't be revenge. True, I suppose Th not. That would just be murder's intent. <laughs> yeah, so... Like, I'm generally, like... I don't mind it too much. I, I can't think of an example where I'm like, alright. What, what are you, like... <laughs> what are you doing... I guess the only was it. I guess the only times I find it annoying is when that uh, was it anger or revenge towards a certain thing, hmm. and the uh, said character gets distracted oh. and you know, does that instead of the plan or something like that, and just endangers mm. it. Because like there's uh. been some times it's like, oh, I see that person, I'm gonna focus that instead of like the actual plan or whatever, and someone gets hurt or killed. Yeah. Like, oh. Uh. Like, like, when it's a situation like that, just like, okay, okay, we just had to have this kind of fucking drama, and then, you know. So but. it was, so it's, um, Peter Quill? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Because, I mean, that's what happens, and so that was, okay, that right there was like, alright, no, you dumbass. Like that would have solved so many things. See, I told you. See, I knew you had you yeah, had that one. one. Yeah, I was like, I just had to think of the right part, point to it. Yeah, when they're like, when they're stupid about it. Yeah. When it... <laughs> I was like, oh, I, I, knew I you, instantly I knew get you it. Had one <laughs> I just had to think about it. But yeah, that's that's. Yeah, when yeah, you're so dumb about it. When, when, when it's a stupid, re stupid reason for it, I mm -hmm. guess. Yeah. Because just to put emotion tension or whatever, let's just oh, do yeah. this so this one, so this other character either gets captured, bites the dust, or, you mm -hmm. know, just like causes the plan to not fucking work. It's like, really? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's like, oh, it just so happened they just showed up at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Also, they run past the leaves, but in this next shot, they're under the leaves. They, they, clearly, ran, they clearly ran past it. <laughs> so. Psycom's keeping it all under wraps. They don't want their failure publicized. Better to lose us than lose their pride. So the other soldiers don't know about us, right? Right. They don't know anything about any fugitives. Over here. And away we go again. All right, into the deep. Mm hmm. Well, okay, no, not exactly. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> not there yet. We don't need to rush. That's a lot of leeches. That's a lot of bugs. Do you have a favorite chapter in this game? Uh, 
Hmm. I mean, if you do have one. I guess... I guess when you can, like, fight as everybody, or, like, when you unlock everybody, to be able to change your party, you know, more freely at will. I think that's um, chapter... Eight? I was like, yeah, chapter eight or nine, or something like that. Mm-hmm. But, uh... I guess... I guess other than that, probably, like... Pulse? <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, that that's the... It's kind of the freer area to kind of... do a lot of different things. Um... I'm trying to remember exactly... Would this work better, like? There's like a couple chapters on Pulse, aren't there? Yeah. Yeah, is it chapter 9 is, uh, is it, well, uh, in the later, what was it, uh... The later half? Like, when you get to the bridge of chapter 9, I think you get to, um, change your party. Right, so that's the... That's like the uh, later the half of that yeah, chapter, then. Yeah, that, yeah, it's, um... That's basically when everyone gets together. Mm-hmm. So that's when Lightning, Fang, Snow, and Hope are together, and then Hope, and then, uh, Zaz and Neil are, like, on their own, mm -hmm. and then, like, they meet up together. So yeah. Bad. The Polymessia. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. really big-ass ship where, uh, what was it? Dice Levy is on. Yep. I've gotta be stronger. how the others are doing I do like chapter 10 Who knows? yeah that's um even if they got away when you first get to Grand Falls get caught eventually yeah when you're making to when you're making your way towards them to right resist or surrender that's when the Christarium uh expands so you could do like all the all the right rows. fully unlocked oh alive. that's actually that's when you're in the um the fifth arc. Yes. I was like trying to think of that's actually where I'm at right now. <laughs> In my own playthrough. He's arrogant and chummy from the get go. Thinks he's everybody's pal. I see. He leads around. Yeah, currently in the and currently in the recording, I believe I'm in chapter Chapter eight, I think. Okay. It's a stupid acronym. Um, chapter code. six, Stands chapter, what chapter no is that? Chapter, yeah, yeah, yeah. chapter seven. Yeah, I mean, chapter mm. seven. Chapter seven. Chapter seven. It's Currently in the snow and hope section. Mmm. Oh boy, when we actually get to that fucking footage, you're gonna fucking oh laugh your boy. ass off. That's for oh. sure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Yeah, well then, yeah, well She's then. She's like, like mm. <laughs> She's like, oh, all right. <laughs> now Lightning's starting to realize. Like, uh, uh-oh. Well, Whoops. somewhat, I guess. <laughs> all right. Now we're down to the floor. They're a little different from the military. Welcome, flying feral beasts. They're turning mm -hmm. wildlife into weapons. Where are they mechanize them? Civilians aren't allowed in here. I mean, their claws. Sorry, sure their claws look like metal already. Actually, what the fuck. I guess they're <laughs> partially already worked on then. Maybe. No. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, the gimmick down here is that you're gonna have to kill uh, the enemies in front of the gates to mm -hmm. get the gates open. Silver Lobo. I mean, we face. 
Oh no, this, okay, yeah, that's partially worked on, yeah. Mm -hmm. Same weakness, though. Yeah. Would this work better, like? So it's just the cosmetics difference. Bing! Up it goes. Oh yeah, Hope has his weapon for um, Endgame. Hawkeye, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. That's the weapon we'll be rocking for Hope. Oh, nice. Come here, you son of a bitch. Come here. <laughs> Those... <laughs> God damn. Hey, we're really <laughs> running around. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. I can't believe that 360 and PS3 are considered retro consoles nowadays. Oh, are they? Dang. Yeah, that they're that old. Wow. Well, no, I know that 360 is considered retro now because it's been like, what, 15 years or since they first uh, came out. PS3 yeah, came out, probably. like, what, a, a year or two after the 360, right? Uh, man, I don't know my... I don't know my lore on those. I mean, play so for PlayStation. <laughs> I honestly, I only go for the games. I don't really care what console <laughs> they're on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God, I still have cousins that still tell me about like, oh, PlayStation for life. I'm like, okay. Eh. <laughs> like, does your PlayStation have Gears of War or Halo? I don't think so. <laughs> the only, uh, the only Xbox games I. I really liked were the Fable ones. The PS3 came out in 2009. What the fuck? Hmm. I think I got mine in 2011 or 12. Probably 12. So I didn't get it right away. And, and I three, know I got it. The 360 came out in 2005. Oh, okay. The fuck? <laughs> so PS3... Oh, wow. PS3 then was four years... Four years? Yeah, four years. Mm. Wow, that's, I mean, the uh, PS2 was still really good, so... I mean, it's better than the PS3. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't get a PS... Um, I had a lot more fun on the PS2 than PS3. Hmm. <laughs> I only got a PS3 because uh, because there were a couple of games I wanted to play with Mark. So I was like, well, like the animals I'll get a PS3 now. <laughs> All right, time for a legit behemoth. Woo. Which honestly is no different from the green one that we've been facing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with, with the water. Just uh, not mechanized. That's yeah, well, um, not quite. Yeah, not quite. Oof. I was gonna say, focus on hope, buddy, and, just, and I realized, oh, wait, I'm hope. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, hold on. <laughs> I need this. Oh, there was lightning. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, that move. Oh, boy. I mean, it's way worse with the mechanized one, to be fair. Cause that that thing is charges, true. Because that thing oh charges up and it's stronger when it hits. Mm-hmm. Because when we... F was it the green ones in early game? And, like, back in chapter, like, three or whatever? And that thing mm -hmm. almost one-shots you. Yeah. Almost one-shots you if you're not high HP Careful, enough. Careful, yeah. <laughs> the fuck? The fuck? <laughs> it just goes fucking. bonk. <laughs> <laughs> Off he goes to the ne nether dimension. To you. <laughs> the observation battalion will be coming. It's just come. amazing that tiny little sword can throw a an enemy that big. Yeah, it's all at the Wolverine. Oh, uh, well, that's true. <laughs> Her snow just like punches him straight up. <laughs> 
<laughs> sure you can. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I don't actually know how Hope launches them. Or like does, any of the other characters. Even, does he even get launch? I, um, I, I think you do. It's like, yeah, it's like this, this is what I have to deal with. Yeah. Look at all these leeches. Damn leeches. Unmechanized leeches. That makes such a weird noise. Yeah, they hiss. Uh, oh god. <laughs> Alright, so that's Quake. Ah, right. Where the ground just like shatters on itself. Mm-hmm. Because you know, Quake or Earthquake. Yep. There are some enemies that are weak to Earthquake, but you need to use a meter for Quake in the mm -hmm. first place, so and even still, like I don't, I doubt you're gonna fucking spam Quake on mm -hmm. an anime. Yeah. Unless it was like a boss or something, but still. Mhm. Mm that went well, yeah, yeah, for sure. Take five. I'm good, coach. I'm good. That's a sharp ass knife, I'll tell you that much right now. It's kind of a fancy little knife too. Okay, I can tell you're hung up on something. Is it the Lissy thing? It's snow, isn't it? What happened with him? You wouldn't understand. You and I are partners, Hope. Tell your big sister, Hope. <laughs> My mother was killed because of him. Also, um, Zaz, Hope, and Vinyl don't learn launch. Oh, they don't. Okay. Well, I mean, they're all projectile characters. Uh, I mean, it'd true. be amazing if Hope threw his boomerang and also and launched just goes, a whoosh. fucking. Yeah, I just thought whoosh. they could, cause like I know no, they get, no, they, I know no, they can they get commando could. rolls. Dang it! I would have been really excited for that. That would have been so funny. You just see this boomerang just go. <laughs> yeah, basically the physical characters, lightning, snow, and um, thing can do it. Snow mm. dragged us all into this. That's too bad. You and me, your sister Sarah. Okay, hope that's where you're wrong. Sarah kind of got, got herself head. into this mess on her own. To be fair. Yeah, Sarah. I guess Sarah kind of dragged Snow into it then. And dragged Lightning. Yeah, and everybody else. No. Well, I mean that's sort spoiler of. territory, but. Yeah. <laughs> well, hmm. <laughs> I can see the future. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I mean, that's basically how I can fucking explain her fucking focus. Yeah, that, that's but we, true. But we, we won't learn about her focus until chapter nine. Mm -hmm. When w literally the chapter where, you know, you can choose whatever your leader went on. You yep. learn her focus then. But we're only at chapter five here at part ten. So that's uh, it's still a bit it's of gonna a while. <laughs> So until then, uh, <laughs> just gonna have to, <laughs> have to grind your and grind your teeth if you know you want to know now. That mm. or you look it up. This game is, I mean, this game is what eleven years old at this point. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. So you know, you have been warned. Uh, bite us. <laughs> 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 Don't like it, then deal with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go look it up. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, that was part 10 of uh, Final Fantasy XIII. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much halfway done with that area, with um, Chapter 5, with Lightning and Hope specifically. So, um, Chapter 11, we'll pretty much finish up uh, finish up that um, that section. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we'll just go back to, I believe, Sass and Vanille. Yep. I believe In the, uh, oh god. I, I, know the, I know the name of the place, I just don't, I just don't know it. <laughs> I like the song though for there, Sunless Waterscape. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I like the theme song for that. 
Yeah. And it's an area you go back to in 13-2, actually. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, that being said, this, this, um, that was part, part 10. And uh, see you guys in part 11. Peace. Bye.